I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to represent points on polar coordinates. So we will take some examples let's say we can represent now we are taking angles in degrees in this particular video in the next video we will take angles in radians. So as you know polar coordinates normally are represented in the form of r and theta where r is the distance from the pole and theta is the angle which the terminating arm or that segment makes with the polar axis correct so let's try to represent few points so simple ones could be let's say one unit away that is r and theta as 90 degrees okay let that be one point then we'll see how to represent uh, when we have uh, more than 90 degrees let's say distance is 2 and it's 120 degrees okay so that is another polar coordinate let me call this as a this as b and c will be kind of interesting what i will do here is i'll make r negative now that's kind of debatable we'll discuss that also and make an angle keep the angle positive okay or oh, you know we could have made this angle negative so we have variety now correct okay so we'll keep an angle positive in this case let's say the angle is 45 degrees okay so we'll do these three examples in the video and understand how to uh, you know represent these on polar coordinates now for some of you what you can do is you can use a graph paper and here is one which i printed from internet so so a graph paper polar coordinates are kind of circular as shown here so you have these circles concentric circles right so each circle is one unit away from the pole so the first circle is unit one then two three four five six like that and uh, you may have different kinds of graph papers where the angles are divided into different units right so here we are divided 90 degrees into one two three four five six right so it is 15 30 45 and the multiples of 15 correct so that is how you could have some polar coordinates and then it becomes kind of simpler to accurately plot the polar points as we're talking about now as you know i normally believe in free sketch so so i'll be sketching them so let's uh, make a bigger sketch so that you can all see what's going on so i prefer to show my axis in this highlighted yellow color truly speaking this is not the axis for polar coordinates as you know for polar coordinates what is the axis you have to begin from the origin and the only axis which you show is is this axis which is polar axis so remember one thing that polar coordinates have only one axis and we call that as polar axis right so since this is one of the few videos on placing uh, less and this is the point which we call as a pole right so let's a reminder <coughs> we don't really label the other axis now uh, polar coordinates r and theta that means all the points have theta in it can we plot it with one axis this is what we will see okay so that concentric circles which you saw were unit away so one unit for me let me keep one unit as 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 that big okay and then we will do now to plot a point we will follow two steps will follow two steps to plot a point step number one will be counterclockwise is we know positive theta is it okay so counterclockwise will do 90 degrees so first thing is you get the theta in place and second we get the distance r right so that we get every point r theta on the polar coordinate system is it okay so we are looking for 90 degrees so if i have this my initial arm i have to rotate counterclockwise to 90 degrees so once i do that rotation of 90 degrees i reach at this point right so this point here is 90 degrees perfect one unit away let's say this is my one unit okay so this is one unit away so this point here is the coordinate point a on the polar axis is that okay one so this is distance i'm saying is one for me so this is my first circle okay this is my first circle and i'll call this as 190 degrees. does it make sense yes it does right so 
on the polar coordinate system, I have a point A and I'll join it with uh, a line segment. You know, it is always a fixed point. It is not a ray. So this, this segment here represents 190 degrees, the point A on the polar coordinate. You get it, right? Now let's look into the other one, which is 2 minus 120. Minus means clockwise direction, correct? So we have to move clockwise and get to 120 degrees. 120 degrees is uh, from here, 90 and 30. So let's say, so let's say this angle here is 90 and 30. So this much is for me, 120 degrees, okay. Two units. Now this much is one unit. So let's say two units is my second circle. So two units, okay. So this is my coordinate point B, which could be written as 2 minus 120 degrees. Is it okay? So that is how I get B. It is so simple as that. So what you have seen here is that just with one axis and a pole, we are able to represent all our points. Now C, which is minus 2 and 45 degrees. This is kind of tricky. So let me see how to explain you this part. So 45 degrees is easy. Just do 45 degrees, move in one direction, and you get to a point. Okay, so 45 degrees for us is kind of half of 90. So I'm saying 45 degrees is, is this much. So that is 45 degrees. So what I will do here is, I will plot another point C dash, which will be 245 degrees. Is that okay? So I'll do it in two steps. First, we'll draw 245. Distances are positive, correct? So I'll do that part first. So, so 45 degrees, so we got this angle as 45 degrees. And now we have to go two units. So with this, we go, this is much as one unit, second circle, right? So for you, it is the second circle, second circle. That is the point. So, so for me, these yellow lines are the ones which are not true lines. So this is my point C dash, which is 245, is it okay? How do I get minus 2? So the concept here is reflected. So it is reflection. Or it is rotation by uh, rotation by 180 degrees. We are, since we are talking about this, right? So what we do here is either you reflect it to the origin, pole, right? Reflect it to pole, re reflection on pole. Okay, that is the only point we have, right? And a pole axis, two things. Okay, so, or oh, rotation by 180. So you could rotate now 180 degrees, kind of like this. Do you see that? So you get to this point. Now this is your true point C. So this is your point C. Let me write this point um, as C equals to minus 245 degrees. Okay, so that is the point C which we are talking about. And this represents the segment which connects with the pole, right? So when you're talking about vectors, you will refer this as your vector. When you talk about complex numbers, you could repre represent this as your complex number, correct? So that is how we are going to represent all these points on the polar coordinates. Now, as you've seen, it becomes convenient to write some angles on these four corners. What we can do is we could write angles as 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and then this becomes 360 degrees, just as a reference, okay? So that becomes convenient, where is 120, things like that, okay? But strictly speaking, polar coordinates, whenever we talk about, we are concerned about the origin, which is the pole for us, and the horizontal axis, which is the polar axis, all the rotations which are counterclockwise are positive and which are clockwise as negative for the angle part. For the radius, which is the distance of a point from the pole, right? That distance, if it is positive, positive distance should be plotted first. And if we have to do negative, reflect it on the pole, right? Or rotate it by another 180 degrees to get the true point. Is it okay? Like we did for part C. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Next video we will see how 
to plot these points with radians in degrees. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.